Why is your trophy up? You've not got it yet. I thought you'd be carrying it around. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we don't want to overplay it, do we? <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. So it was much. a lovely watch. I have to say, I thought your microwave TV dinner was genius. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> that just... It was an amazing experience from beginning to end. You know, my mum passed away on April the 13th, 2017, and I won MasterChef on April the 13th, 2018. Wow. Wow. So, so when I went in for that final cook, I definitely had an angel on my shoulder. Yeah. You know, I took her a wooden spoon with me, and so I know she was there, she was stirring that custard, and it was a monumental thing. Because you did say, thing. you know, you loved your mum dearly, she had lots of good um, qualities and things, but cooking wasn't one of them. No, it wasn't <laughs> at all, but I do have the memories of that. And listen, I didn't know it was going to turn into that. I didn't know when I went on the programme that they were going to ask me to make a pie, mm -hmm. it was going to be a cheese and onion pie, I was going to remember all of that, but... At the beginning, uh, at the end of last year, 1st of October, I'm one year sober today. Yay! One year sober today. But um, for the first two weeks, I would just go to a supermarket, I'd buy ingredients, and I'd come home and I'd cook just to distract myself. Uh, and I was watching the telly and the programme was on. And I remember calling my manager and saying, I want to do that programme. He was like, you really don't. I was like, no, I do. And then the beginning of the year started and I was doing The Real Full Monty and MasterChef at the same time, and I just started talking. That's all it was. I talked about having cancer. I talk, and just the talking about it, what I'm so grateful... Which you to haven't done before. No. Then, to anybody, No, really. but what I'm so grateful that they allowed me to do, MasterChef allowed me to continue that conversation. They allowed me, through the programme, to keep talking. Why hadn't you talked, John, to anybody? Cos there's... I was embarrassed and I was ashamed of it. And I hadn't worked it out yet. I thought I was OK. Mm. I thought I liked the party. And as alcoholics party. were in denial. Well, I just mm. thought it was OK. Yeah. I thought I liked the party. I've always liked to party. I still like to party, <laughs> just not for three days. Did you just work it out for yourself then, or did you have therapy? I went to NA for not for long, when I first so that's what got narcotics. sober. That, yeah, narcotics when I first, but they deal with everything. Yeah. I went to NA because the one I found, it was the first thing I looked at. Mm, that yeah. was what I looked at. I wasn't just drinking, I was using drugs as well. So I figured that's where I'll go because it's, it's going to cover everything. But I didn't go for very long because I couldn't find a way to speak in there. I was, mm. I was, I was embarrassed. I didn't couldn't find the words to share there. Do you mean embarrassed with the... Did you have the shame of what had gone on in the past with your...? I was embarrassed that I couldn't handle it. Oh. Sorry. I was embarrassed that I couldn't find a way to be cool with it all. Yeah. Because I think on the surface, people so thought I was cool with it all. So embarrassed to say that you were an addict and you were out of yeah. control? Embarrassed to say that I couldn't find a way to do it. Did you have a rock bottom? Did you have... No. Did you have... I say I have a soft rock, but there are many times in my life when you would have looked at it on paper and gone, that's rock bottom. Mm. But I kind of just rolled. How has it been up. for you and John, um, your, your sobriety, and how wonderful is that? Do you find that that's had a really positive impact on your relationship? John said something early in my sobriety. He said, somebody asked him that question. He said, I always thought he could, but I never thought he would. Mm. And how, that broke my heart. How did he deal with you when you were drinking? I was quite a happy drunk, mm. you know? I wasn't mean. I didn't uh, take stuff out on him like that. It just went on too long. You know? So, and lots of the time, me and John have been away. I've been on the road for the last three years. Mm. I've toured a lot. So, lots of the time, we weren't together. But John's kind of sober now, too. So, what didn't you like about yourself when you weren't sober? It wasn't necessarily what I didn't like. It was how I was feeling. And we I think we're was, functioning, yeah, but we're not It was functioning. how I was feeling. It, you know, it, 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 I, I, I was so, I, I was so anxious. I was so afraid. I, you, you any situation, I, you know, I, it, it's it involved. It's self-medication, isn't it? It's medicating your feelings in a really, I think, in some, in some way, an easier way than reaching out to a doctor or mm. to a, a mental health professional saying, "Listen, I am not coping." I think any form of addiction is about not wanting to feel. Yeah. I, I mean, actually, that's not true. It's about wanting to feel anything but yourself. Yeah. And that's what I didn't, you know. 
am I funny enough? Am I cool enough? Am I witty enough? Am I... Uh, all of these things. I, I, and I just didn't want to feel. And me stopping that was my first step in allowing that. I always say there were sort of two Johnnies. There was Big Johnny and there was Little Johnny. And it was Big Johnny that would go out all night, but it was Little Johnny that would get me out of bed in the morning. And when I started... On the, my, when I started cooking through the show and remembering and going back, you know, cooking the food from my past has helped me to live in the present, mm -hmm. in my present. Going back and remembering that cheese and onion pie with mm -hmm. my mum mm -hmm. and cooking that custard tart and that Lancashire hot pot and that black pudding, it, it reminded me <laughs> of being <laughs> that well, person. Uh, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for um, it. it.